Okay, this one's about controlling fan motor speeds. Now I've got a blower set up here. This is a direct drive blower. Uh, see the motor right there. Uh, this uh, blower is a multiple speed blower. Now that's the common way that we have controlled speeds on uh, fan motors for quite a while now. It's just using a number of different uh, speeds. Uh, with different color codes from red to black, red being the slowest and black being the highest speed. Essentially what the multiple speed motor blower motor does is when you connect the different speeds it uh, it changes the number of poles in the motor. And that's poles or magnets. And if I double the number of magnets or poles in the furnace or in the blower then I will uh, have the speed. So essentially that's what those things are doing is just changing the number of poles in the in the uh, motor. Uh, there's another way and actually this way has been around for a very long time and it's called using a choke coil. Now, first thing I'm going to do is start out and we will fire this fan up and we'll check the amp draw of the fan. And you can see we're drawing over 15 amps. And if you look at the blower here, you can see how fast it's spinning. Okay, what we've done here is we've hooked up this coil. Now this is what we call a choke coil. Uh, there's just one winding in this one. Uh, you can get choke coils that have several different taps on their winding. But this one just has one winding, so there's only two wires coming out of it. It is going to reduce the available voltage to the blower. Now it does not do it by resistance through this because the resistance of this is very low. It does it by inductive reactance. That, what that means is kind of a big couple of words. This thing becomes a magnet as the power moves through it. Through the coils and this becomes a magnet and there's a magnetic field that builds up around it. When uh, the field collapses as it does uh, 120 times a second with AC power, the field builds up, the magnet becomes stronger, uh, then it collapses, magnet uh, becomes stronger the opposite way, and then it, it repeats. Well as these magnetic fields are collapsing across the coil they're actually creating a type of resistance to flow. There's no heat buildup in this coil very very little heat buildup in it but it does reduce the voltage available because that inductive reactance, that collapsing of fields of force is in the opposite direction as the power coming. So when the fields collapse, they create a back force, a back EMF or electromotive force that uh, does not allow as much power to come through. So that's really all that thing does. Uh, I didn't really realize what these things were when I first got into business and there were a couple of them around and I had some odd sort of interactions with these things and couldn't figure out what they were and then I finally uh, started studying this stuff and I found out that it was a choke coil and what it does is it chokes down the voltage. Now I'm going to fire this up and mostly you'll see the amp draw is running much slower. The amp draw is 9 amps which is way less than it was before. There's a better view of that blower wheel with the choke coil 
uh, connected up you can see it's traveling very very slowly so uh, that's a choke coil now we'll check the voltage that's coming into this motor through this thing and you'll get an idea of what the what that coil has actually done to the system okay now I've got the voltmeter hooked up here this is the lead coming out of the choke coil and I've got another lead hooked to the white so power coming in is here coming out of the choke coils here let's see what the voltage is when we start this uh, motor up now you can see we've got about 64 volts now if I was to take the voltmeter probe off of here and put it to the input I would find now I've got it to the voltage coming in so it's 119 volts coming in and I had 64 coming out so that's what that choke coil has done. So the choke coil has reduced the voltage coming out by inductive reactants. It has not increased the amp draw. The amp draw did not go up. The amp draw went down. Usually on a motor it'll go uh, up if you reduce the voltage. But it controls both voltage and amperage going through the uh, the uh, motor so that's what the choke coil does now it's it's not real common anymore we don't use them as much as we used to uh, some of them are actually used with some uh, motor speed controls but uh, we've got uh, lots of really much more complicated ways to do it now but the choke coil uh, it was used in the 60s for a lot of stuff and uh, it worked pretty good. So that's controlling speed with a choke coil.